so another thing that I thought like this was interesting to like kind of talk about in comparison with this like you know both of these being really you know young genres and how they're they've kind of had to struggle to re find a place in like in serious right, criticism right, right. you know people yeah. haven't always taken hip hop or street art very seriously they're young art forms yeah. yeah yeah young art forms but now it seems like they're <coughs> kind of moving up and they're both being street arts like they'll have galleries they'll have sales and like yeah. hip hop is becoming a lot more mainstream like do you think that these like these genres have found kind of like their their place of, among serious they're like art. cultural Do you think they're recognized well, as, I think they're, they're artists, definitely, as, they're definitely as, recognized. Yeah, yeah. you think yeah. so I think um, yeah I think they definitely things have come a long way I mean you're starting to see I guess the progression of it whereas like now like academia is starting to like uh, you know acknowledge exactly. hip-hop and you have textbooks and classes and yeah. like these big institutions academic institution institutions starting to like you know, m make lectures and books and, and literature about mm -hmm. this art form and kind of like document it as this living, breathing culture. So I think that's that's one of the things that's definitely showing hip hop and, and street art, uh, you know, its age and, and re recognition. Yeah, right. I, I, uh, I actually read about this class that this professor was trying to create centered around Good Kid Mad City, uh, which was Kendrick Sell. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was kind of comparing it to like a modern day version of Ulysses and kind of how saying that it was kind of a young man's tale in the streets and kind yeah. of he said that he would grab other forms of like art, literature and art and kind of compare it and like show that how hip hop is connected to all of this. Right, yes, so. no, definitely. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, I read about that too and that was a really cool thing. Uh, and uh, I think like Nas is like developing a fellowship at Harvard mm, for wow. like, wow. for like, yeah, rap inclined, you know, people and, and uh, you know, people who studied the music. So, no, hip hop has definitely come a long way and I think yeah. it's only gonna get more and more uh, recognition as time goes by because sure. it's it's I mean it's at the center of pop culture I mean yeah. pop music and I remember in seventh grade my lit teacher actually printed out I uh, forget which Tupac song it was but yeah he printed out Tupac uh, lyrics and we just annotated them like it was like yeah a poem, you yeah know? I hope it was ambitions of a writer <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah, I mean yeah, <laughs> it kept it a little PG but it, it, yeah, was, I mean, no, it was some serious like stuff in there too yeah, for sure. Sure. you look at you look at like uh, I mean it, it, it can always be argued that it may not be a good thing but like Places like Rap Genius, they're mm -hmm. like, you know, you're saying rap annotations, like, rap is starting to be given, or not be given, but it's starting to be, uh, uh, be certain things that are in other art forms, you know, not, yeah. I want to say gatekeepers, but like, you know, institutions that kind of yeah. like, you know, uh, dictate the um, the uh, presentation of it or whatever yeah. are, are, are starting to come around. And, and now they're starting to critique it like like we're in a very like serious way that it was it's like it hasn't been like mm. that you know yeah. like you said it it's always been viewed as a lower art form you know like a low culture thing mm. and now like just this week dude I, I'm taking this uh, race ethnicity in the media course and this whole week we're just talking about hip hop and like mm. as like a socio-economic thing and how it, it its creation was is uh, the result of this socio-economic uh, Disparity. Almost. Disparity yeah. within like the Bronx, the mm. South, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. And just people recognizing how there's like these really deep rooted, like serious themes associated with hip hop. Mm. Like it's, it's great. Like you said, we've come, yeah. come a long way. Yeah, the only thing that's left is for. I feel like Southern playlist of Cadillac music to be like put into the Smithsonian. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, once once rap albums start getting put into the Smithsonian, it'll pretty much be like a done deal. Yeah, done deal for sure. Yeah, Elmatic yeah. is getting is oh yeah, gonna, 20th anniversary. It's kind of yeah. coming like that. People yeah, are starting yeah. to look at Elmatic like, wow, this is this is up there with, dare I Definitely. say, like Sgt. Pepper or something. Mm. Like, yeah, seriously. No, for sure. They're they're being treated as text, as, yeah. as works, and not just yeah, like sure. these countercultural things. They're they're artifacts from exactly. you know, pop yeah. culture. Well, that's sure. awesome. Mm -hmm.